In this video, we'll take a look at double robotic arms, which you can build at home yourself. More in the description below. In the previous videos, I designed and built a 3D printed robot arm that works with cheap hobby servos and is controlled by an Arduino. In the last video, I created a way to program movements by simply moving the arm by hand, after which it memorizes the entire sequence and plays it back. Doing a simple feedback modification of a standard servo makes this possible. This makes programming the arms as simple as it can get and saves a lot of time. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check out the previous videos, the links are in the description. In this video, however, I've gone one step further and built a second arm. Both arms are now controlled by the same Arduino Mega and run on a new version of the playback programming algorithm to control two arms at once. I've been working with fake counterfeit servos and the arms in the previous videos, which kept breaking. At first I wanted to use the rest of the bunch I still had for this project, but unfortunately at the very beginning two servos already slipped through their gears. The tolerances and material quality is so poor that they can easily break off the teeth on the gears, causing the joints to become loose. So I decided to finally order genuine Tower Pro 996R servos. Compared side by side you can definitely see the difference in build quality. The full metal gearbox is what makes these so durable. Also, the genuine one has a bearing at the output shaft, where the fake one doesn't. The genuine ones are also a lot more precise and a lot quieter. Alright, time to start these up and see what they can do. Programming the arm still goes through the same process. I simply move the arms to a position when the indication LED is on. When it starts flashing, it is ready to save the current position, so I know I have to hold still. A few short blinks let me know that it is successfully saved. And then just repeat over for all positions. If you want to build your own, the 3D STL files and their Arduino code are all available for you. If you subscribe to my Patreon as a microbot or a gigabot, you get exclusive access to all STL files, Arduino code, schematics and more of all the projects that I do. Check the link in the description below. If you just like what I'm doing and want to help support my channel, consider joining my Patreon as a nanobot to show your dedication and support. Thanks! Holding scissors and moving them around seems to be going well. And it actually looks a bit scary. Passing an object from one arm to the other is something that should be possible to do anything useful. I did this test with a sponge. I did notice the overlap between the arms is limited so it's not always easy to pass any object, especially when it's too small. The sponge, however, works just fine. Next are some coordinated movements where I let it play with a toy car. Here it is important that the arms keep a constant distance from each other while playing around with height and angles. It's actually quite amusing to watch this. Another example of coordination is collecting blocks into a handheld container. It picks up the block and moves it up, while using its other arm to bring in a plastic container. I've also made an attempt of making it clean up. Needless to say, it's not very good at it. For an application like this, it lacks the speed in the joints. Precision in itself is not that bad, but it simply can't reach the acceleration needed to sweep up dust and dirt. Hmm, maybe something else then. How about making tea? Now that seems more like a job for these arms. 
it happily dips the tea bag in the cup. And when the tea is saturated, it takes the bag out and puts it in a container. How about bigger objects? Here I let it pick up a box. It takes it and moves it around, while keeping the arms at the same relative distance from another. This is another example of coordinated movement. Again, this seems to go pretty smooth. For the next test, I tried to make it draw, to test the accuracy. I made a line shape and showed the robot how to move. And... well... We can't say it's really accurate as to what we have programmed. However, there are a number of factors at play here. First one is the marker that can tilt because the claw only has two fingers to grab. Second, because of the construction and size of the arm, there is a lot of play and backlash in the joints and servos. All these summed up in the entire length of the arm causes for a significant dead movement at the gripper. To conclude, I can say that the arms perform quite well based on their simple construction. They're not suitable for very accurate movements, but are great to play around with. Especially this way of programming makes it a ton of fun. I want to thank my patron Hoshioni for the support to Gleevo Tech to help me keep creating and building amazing stuff. And as always, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Where's my wallet?